buti nga nakangiti po kasi kung hindi baka hindi yung binagbigyan yan Madam Chair, I'm, I'm really sorry Madam Chair, if if you're with the telcos and you see this application form of that monkey smiling at you what the heck are you doing? I mean, I mean That's you don't you don't admit Even that you had a, 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 a terrible system I mean, you can see what? monkey smiling at you and bibigyan mo ng uh, as I mentioned Yun nga, it's adding insult to injury. Pag nakita mo, nakangiti pa talaga yung monkey eh, di ba? Pero, uh, but... Madam Chair, can, can I ask questions to uh, Telcos? Kasi, uh, ayun ho, narinig nyo po ngayon yung uh, uh, Cybercrime Division ng NBI. Unang, unang question po, uh, baka pwedeng tingnan, tingnan nyo po itong mga animal pictures na na nakakuha ng uh, na nakapagrehistro kasi bababali wala po yung batas kung papayagan din po yun and uh, sure sure we can we can play it if you please uh, madam chair sige po yeah the, the picture on the left your honor uh, ano po yan monkey po na ano? Buti nga nakangiti po. Kasi kung hindi, baka hindi yung binagbigyan yan. Can I just say, uh, according to my staff here who's been with the technical working group, uh, for the information of our colleagues, DITO is actually implementing the facial recognition together with the ID. But Globe and Smart resisted that it be included in the IRR. So I think we just have to tweak the IRR. Yes, Globe. But Madam Chair, I'm, I'm really sorry. Madam Chair, if... If you're with the telcos and you see this application form of that monkey smiling at you, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, it's 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 common sense uh, na hindi dapat pagbigyan to, dahil hindi yun natin mauhuli yung mga gumagawa ng kalokohan dito. I am ready to to dare our telcos friends here. If you want, let's do it right now. Mag-file tayo ng application kung tatanggapin. Kasi kung tatanggapin, eh bali wala po lahat tayo dito, Madam Chair. If our telcos will not cooperate. Yeah. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Madam Chairperson, uh, Honorable Senators. Uh, tama po yun. Uh, medyo siguro lumulusot nga po yun, ano? mga pictures. Kasi nga po, is that nga expressly the reason why before when the bill was being uh, deliberated on we asked to have access to government id issuers para it query system lang po na sana valid ba tong id na to o hindi uh, uh, yun po eh malaking usapin kasi noon and then uh, isa pa to uh, isa pa healing namin eh sana kung napatupad na fully yung national ID system. Mas madili po yun kasi may biometrics. So, yun po talaga ang makapagpigil niyan. So, sa ngayon, <laughs> pero yan, dahil fully... Pero, after, pero unggoy yung nasa picture eh. Uh, na hindi po namin nakikita yun kasi diretso po sa system. So, uh, yan ay uh, magiging... Uh, so, you think your system is working? It is working, pero... It is working with that, that kind of uh, uh, applications? Yeah, uh, Mr. Senator, kaya nga po magkakaroon ng uh, panibago... Your, your, I'm sorry, Madam Chair. Your solution is to pass national ID and um, it be implemented fully? Uh, that's the actually the best practice. You don't, you don't admit Even, that you had a, 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 a terrible system. I mean, you can see well, monkey smiling at you and bibigyan mo ng... Uh, as I mentioned, Mr. Senator, uh, it's we cannot see it because it's a fully automated system. But that's the best practice in all countries that have wow. implemented SIM registration. They have 
uh, slotted first the national ID ba- before they went into uh, SIM registration. And you're not admitting that, 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 that this is working, this is not working well? Uh, Mr. Senator, uh, Mr. Mr. Senator I, I, I fully admit that SIM registration, actually I'm very optimistic that this will work. Precisely, uh, the uh, SIM registration act why they pay a penalty if we provide uh, false or inaccurate information. Doon po mahuhuli yan. So, yun po ang susunod na step, together with the NTC, magkakaroon po ng post-validation uh, uh, process. So, yun po ang sagot po. Um, attorney Tubayan, ganito po yung kakaintindi ko doon sa sinabi ninyo. That's why you resisted during the crafting of the IRR was because the government wouldn't give you access to the list of the legitimate um, cardholders, di ba? Doon sa mga iba't ibang government agencies na merong ID. Am I correct? Uh, Madam Chairperson, I think it's inaccurate that we resisted. Uh, siguro, there were uh, uh, concerns that were put forward, pero eventually po, meron po kaming validation process. Meron pong selfie. Kung sino nag-register, nag-selfie po yan. Tapos meron pong government ID dapat supposedly na i-represent. So may so, selfie? Part. Opo. So yung selfie ng monkey? I- Palagay ko kung yun ang ginamit nila. Oh. Anyway, gan- yes. ganito lang po. Um, what, what I'm trying to say is because, uh, well, as you said, maybe you it was misinterpreted. You didn't really push for not including that uh, biometrics or um, live facial recognition. Uh, it's actually looking like what we have now is not really sufficient. So, we will have to go back to the drawing board and probably with the cooperation of the NTC, ma'am, uh, maybe we can amend the IRR, no? Yeah, yes, ma'am. With the, ano po, with the results of the investigation now and uh, yung challenges sa implementation, we, we can go back po. And specifically now, since we are doing na rin naman po the post-registration uh, validation, then we will include po all those other things that needs to be addressed. Sige, ma'am. Actually, attorney, what you're saying about the national IT would really help a lot of problems in our country. In fact, that's why we're always calling for a hearing. PSA, nasa na yung national ID na yan. But in the meantime, and also it's good to be redundant, even when we have that ID in place, at least we also have this other safeguard, uh, which is another layer. I'm, I'm not saying, uh, all, all of us here are playing catch up with technology. Um, so the blame is not all lodged on one particular group. But of course, we have to keep updating. Uh, and it's frustrating you know, it's adding insult to injury. Pag nakita mong nakangiti pa talaga yung monkey, eh, diba? Pero, uh, but I would like to commend our NBI chief, Loto, for making an effort to demonstrate to us that it's really a problem. Because if we don't see something like this, we wouldn't know the extent of how easy it is to actually fraudulently register. That's all. Madam Chair, can I continue asking questions? Let me ask the, the other telco company. Do you have the same know your customer procedures? Yes, sir, please. Yeah, good afternoon po. Um for for Dito, since um we we have implemented the uh, three features now of the um SRA. So first is the IDOCR uh, that basically replicates you know, the the data or information that you can see in the ID to the into the data fields you know, of the SRA. The second is the face liveliness where um, the SRA platform recognizes or tra- uh, finds traces of uh, biometrics. Which means hindi lulusot sa inyo yung nakangiting mga... Supposedly, sir. Supposedly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. And also, sir, uh, there's um, the face matching where we face the IDs no, um, to the selfies. Okay. Just so, just for, ano, uh, kasi uh, mag-session ho kami. Sa isa pang telco company, smart ba nandito? What, do, do you have also the same feature na itong uh, mas maayos na know your customer procedure? Uh, good, good afternoon, Madam Chair. Uh, Senator Villanueva. Yes, um, SMART uh, had processes in place to verify submitted information and data. SMART also employed an optical character recognition technology, not only to help SMART verify submitted information and data, but also to protect 
and secure its subscribers. So, meron po. Me- meron din you po. don't just accept mere uploading like uh, in the monkey example. Uh, actually, um, meron din po kasi mga technical glitches. The, the, the reason why I think during the, the IRR that we wanted uh, basically to perfect this optical character recognition technology to be placed in. I think the problem with technology is that it is not simply a plug-and-play solution sometimes. Sometimes you have to undergo a beta stage. And that is what we fear that with the oncoming deadline or uh, of, of the SIP registration, and they were rushing us to include uh, that technology in the IRR when in fact it was absent in the law itself. We, we opted that if we do implement this technology, that it would be flawless and it would be uh, ideal in terms of being able to implement it accurately. And I, I guess uh, by, by, by nature of technology, sometimes there are glitches. Maybe there were instances where uh, in nga, iba yung animal yung nasa picture, tapos animal din yung picture na si David for selfie. Because we accept uh, pictures as selfies, eh. hindi, hindi lang yung selfie as selfie. Why can both of you, Globe and Smart, do the same thing nung ginagawa nung dito? Yeah, that's, yun nga po. We also employed optical character recognition. But I, I, I think there are some cases Even where... Even if you apply the same thing, the same problem will... will sometimes. Occur. Sometimes like with, with what, technology. If, if that's the case. I mean, you won't, you won't find a monkey uh, apply, application form. Uh, that's what we're investigating rin po right now. No? Kung meron din po talaga mga nakapasok din po sa system namin or kung meron man you also tatap. agree that if the uh, platform of these major telecommunication companies uh, would have a stricter or uh, more effective system matutulungan nyo po itong uh, cyber definitely, definitely. Thank you. so that's ano uh, 